Hello, it's Friday, February 23rd, and I am here for another vlog. Welcome, thank you for being here. I feel alive, one, because the sun is out, there's not a single cloud in the sky, there is a breeze, my neighbor's wind chimes are losing their mind. Thank God, because I'm losing my mind, I can't even talk. I'm losing my mind too, because I just, this week have been so reminded of how dependent I am on the sunshine and how much life it truly brings me, I feel energized. I was sitting outside and I literally felt myself charging. Maybe I'm just vitamin D deficient, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling great and excited for a nice weekend ahead. Today I have a friend coming over, which I really need to get my act together in a little bit. She is a photographer and we're gonna do a little photo shoot. She wants to create like a still life of me essentially. And so we're gonna do like a flat lay with different pieces that I choose to represent me as an artist. So a little bit of photography, a little bit of ceramics. I wanna figure out how to include some thing to represent like my writing and that I love reading and then like my nieces and my husband and yeah all that kind of stuff so I need to honestly very quickly scurry around the apartment and finish finding things because the only thing I have right now is my little baby matcha cup which is very important I drink matcha every day and it brings me lots of joy to make it and the ritual of making it is very important so that's one thing down. I wanted to have 10. And this honestly feels like a challenge for, for like an icebreaker moment when someone's like, describe yourself in three words. What three words would you use? Like actually though, it's not something you think about often, especially words that aren't just like, I don't know, I do X thing. Like something that is like actually you. And so that's what I'm trying to <laughs> portray in this portrait of me. So I'm going to beep up around the place and see what I can find. But this weekend will be a little worky work in time. I have some pieces that I fired last week for my wonky tonkers that I need to glaze along with some pieces for a market that I'm doing a week from tomorrow. So I'm hoping to finish those this weekend and have them fired and finished completed by early next week. That way I can spend time packaging them up to ship out and then also prepping the pieces for the market to sell. This is my first market that I have to like travel for. It's about an hour and a half away. It's by the beach and I'm so excited. It's at my friends. They have like a food truck by the ocean. It's great vibes, honestly. It's so Florida, it's sweet. And this is like prime time to be by the ocean. In March. So I am staying the night beforehand because it is going to be a very long day and I just want to make sure I'm as prepped as I can, which means this weekend glazing my booty off and I can do it and I will do it and you will watch me do it. We will do this together and that is that I'm going to go find things <laughs> that represent me and let's hang out for the weekend. Let's see what we get into. Okay, off to scour. Thank you for being here. Here's what I got so far. <laughs> this all feels so boring, but these are like essentials and that was one of the words she used when describing the idea. So yeah. That was so simple and sweet. It actually all just fell into place and I think it turned out great. 
It is magic outside and I can't deny it. So I'm going for a walk. Sue me, you might read my book at the coffee shop. Sue me, I'm not gonna glaze right now. Sue me. Expertise of mine. I reenacted the dwarf maple. Thank you. 
Good morning. It is Saturday and I feel alive again. I was on my morning walk and I noticed one of my friends sitting outside an apartment that was having like a yard sale. And yeah, so we just like caught up real quick. But I found this cute little book, The Concise the concise encyclopedia of favorite flowers and I'm a sucker for a good old book and it literally just explains different flowers I'm also a big flower girl and this color combo is really speaking to me so that was fun I also didn't even show my little haul from the other basically yard sale that I went to yesterday. I don't shop much, but when I do, it is at this specific yard sale. And these pants are everything to me. And I love them. And I got this sweet little minty cardigan which makes me so happy don't remember the last time i bought a cardigan but the color won me over and then the girl hosting the sale made these shorts she like made them they're so good they were literally ten dollars she had them in like four different colors and i was like i do not need to do that right now she also made this squirt, which I got at the last sale that I think I had on yesterday. Yeah, crazy. So just a couple things, nothing crazy. The older I get, the more I realize that I'm not 27 anymore. So like, gotta wear what actually fits me now and what actually like feels like me now. And a lot of my closet is uh, my 27 year old self, which nothing wrong with her, but my body is not the same. So I'm going to make matcha probably eat outside because yet again, it's magic. Maybe flip through my encyclopedia of flowers before I start glazing. That sounds like a dream. <laughs> and also like I'm 85 years old and I love that. So see you at the glaze table.
Hello, I, there's an airplane going by. I just finished glazing a majority of the pieces, honestly. I just have two mugs left that I'm not certain what I wanna do yet, so I'm not gonna rush it. There's a Lunar New Year parade happening, so I'm gonna go take a break and enjoy that, and then probably come back this afternoon and finish those two mugs, and then load the kiln to fire tomorrow. That feels like the best bet that way i can just like have an extra day this week to get through everything and honestly even start throwing tomorrow if i could do that while the kiln fires for another market that i said yes to which is on march 15th and today is february 25th so not a lot of time i'm going to have extra stuff but it's at a coffee shop, so I thought it would be fun to make some more smaller, like, espresso mugs and things like that, since it will be during, like, a latte art throwdown. So, yeah, the goal is to be able to throw some of those this week and then get those in the kiln, along with the other bisque stuff, or stuff that needs to be bisqued, this coming week as well. That's pretty ambitious for me, especially since I have a market on Saturday. I... I'm going to the beach on Thursday and I have this kiln to figure out um, as well. And I'm launching my t-shirts because as you saw, I lost my mind yesterday. Two of the samples came in. I didn't get every single design, but I at least wanted to have a couple so that when I put it on Instagram, it's like, hey, this is what it looks like because I just didn't want to buy all of them. but. Honestly, I made a couple more designs last night because I was trying to have a variety of some where it's just the front design and then some where there's like a little front design and a bigger back design and that way everybody can, there's a couple different prices, there's something for everyone and a couple of those I'm like, I think I actually want that as my own shirt. <laughs> so I might order a couple but I figure having like at least one shot, everybody knows what comfort colors are, they're cozy, and yeah, I might even post just like a picture of the actual like t-shirt colors, because that's what sometimes is different online. So anyways, I'm going to go to Lunar New Year, yippee! Good evening. It is still Sunday. I am at my desk, home alone after a very social day, which it was great. Honestly, this whole weekend, this vlog, I feel like I've like done things and I <laughs> never do things. And it's been good. I just honestly haven't felt the energy or the motivation or whatever. Like I had the capacity to go out in the world and be social. And so it felt really good to do that. And now I'm just editing some stuff so I can post about my weekend on Instagram, I'm trying to get better at being more regular at that, especially since I'm trying to sell more online. And I know that consistency helps with that, but I am gonna do a little soft launch of my t-shirts with a photo that I took of my husband this morning and amidst some other stuff that I'm doing or that I did this weekend as a little peek. But here's the other one that I have. And I made like six designs, but I don't have all of them physically. I have one more on the way, but I'm still gonna launch them on Wednesday. They'll be printed in batches, so I think I'll have it live for like a week. And then after that, they'll all be printed and shipped at the same time. And I'm so glad that I stumbled on another ceramic artist who uses this website for their merch because it's really great. I got my two shirts in no time and I, yeah, they look great. <laughs> so I'm confident that people will order them and it will come out great. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing right now. I'm glad the kiln is loaded. I will unload that on Tuesday and then spend Wednesday and Tuesday, finishing everything up for the market on Saturday. So 
So I think I will leave you here and see you when I unload the kiln in the next one and get ready for another market. I have so many <laughs> things that I want to do, but I keep saying yes to other things because money. <laughs> And I'm going to update my online store. I've already started, but I just feel like it keeps getting pushed back, but it's okay. We're all just doing the best we can and I'm included in that, even though I don't tell myself that enough, but it's good. And I had a really great weekend. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had a good weekend or a good whatever time of whatever week, month you're watching this. And I will see you next time. TTYL. Bye.